Saints, this is an emergency broadcast. Okay? When I was in work last week, the government sent a helicopter to my house, and I know it was them because it was an Apache helicopter. Okay? It was military. They were above my house, the roof up there. Okay? What they proceeded to do was they took a sample of my grass. This is where they pulled it from. Where was it again? Over there, near the hose. Show me. This is my son that's with me. Show me. Mm -hmm. Small few pieces of grass it, right here. It was right here. here. They took the grass out, roots and all. It has grown back since then. But apparently, I believe they took an interest in my property. Um, I don't know why. I know I've spoken to a few other brothers and sisters in Christ. And they said that this has happened to them too. Tonight, that helicopter, and what was weird was the first time the helicopter came, um, my family told me that there was, uh, see the helicopter was up there and it lowered, it was hovering above my house. And then it went this way, and it's when it took a sample of my grass. Now why would the government need a sample of my grass on my property? My land is healthy, and I don't, I, don't, I don't do drugs, I don't have pot, nothing. Why are they taking an interest in me? So I, I went and did my research, and I asked a few brothers and sisters in Christ about this. Okay? And they told me the same thing has happened to them. Now, the first incident that happened was, I believe it was last Monday or Tuesday of this week that just went by. It was Tuesday. Um... When the government came and, t and took a sample of my grass, black clouds started to surround them. And then as soon as they left, the black clouds disappeared. That's what my, pa my family told me. So they came again, and the black clouds, storm clouds started to build again. And they didn't even get time to take any samples. I know that they came to take a sample of my grass, and they left. Now, these are the times that we're living in. And I spoke to a brother and sister in Christ. And they said that the same thing happened to them. So I went into my prayer closet and I asked the Lord Jesus Christ, why is this happening? Why are they interested in my property? Why my land? What the Lord had explained to me is that the righteous, the land of his righteous is very blessed, is very rich. Look at that. Look how healthy that looks. That's part of it. Okay, look at these unusual exotic plants that I have. That is not seen anywhere around the world. I don't know why they're growing. I don't know why they're growing, but look. Look at that. But they are growing. The Lord Jesus told me that they're blessings on the land. My grass is very healthy. When I told, um, For example, when I planted... Um, when I planted... Sorry, when I planted peppers, an av a, a, the, a pepper normally grows the size of like a peach. Peppers that grow on my land grow double and triple in size. And look at this. Those are flowers you do not see here. Okay? There's unusual species on my land too. The Lord told me that they're blessings. So anyway... Um, the Lord said that they notice how healthy my land is. They notice how fruitful it is, how it grows. Um, different types of fruits at unusual sizes, very healthy at unusual rates. So they've taken an interest in that and they try to get a sample of my grass to maybe try to reproduce that elsewhere. You know? But what happened was, was that my family was observing... And as they was take, as, as the first time that they came and they took the sample of my grass off my property, instantly the grass withered and died. And the Lord told me that, that these blessings are entitled to the righteous, not the unrighteous. So that was the first time they came. The second time they came and that they tried to take another sample, it was, they were unsuccessful. When this, that helicopter hovered over my house up there. Oh, you hear that? Yeah. There's another helicopter if you could hear that sound.
they tried to help they, they tried to take a second sample again and it didn't work why would the government be interested in my property because of the blessings it has because of the fact that there's that plants grow here unusual plants the land looks very healthy fruit grows here at above normal sizes so like I said, I did my research, I asked a few brothers and sisters in Christ, and apparently this is happening to them. These helicopters also fly above the house of the righteous, who they deem is a threat. See, believers like you and me that are believers in Christ, we're considered extremists because we're Bible-believing. We believe in the Word of God, we believe in Jesus Christ. There's is few of us. We're the elect of God. I believe we are because we're willing to die for Jesus Christ. And, you know, we're considered extremists. So this is the second time that the government has come to my house, on my property, hovering a helicopter in a residential area. Why would the government be interested in a property of someone that is not rich, that works like everybody else does, that struggles with bills, that has her own struggles, why? Why, Obama? Why would you be interested? Why would the government be interested? This is the last days. This is what we, we're living in, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it's come down to. They come to your house whenever they want to try to take a sample from your property without your say-so, without your permission, and they violate your rights. The government has been to my house not once but twice. And the Lord Jesus Christ told me that they're, they're having a problem accessing my property. That's because God is protecting me. There's a higher, more powerful force at play here. Jesus said that the righteous will be blessed. You see right here, I had an orange mushroom growing on top of there. Did you hear that? sounded like a scream. You guys heard that. You guys heard that. That's what I hear. I hear a lot. Like, on my, on my property, the Father said, around the righteous property, the spiritual realms are at its thinnest, too. So, I'm just telling you guys what's going on, so that way you can make this, this video go viral in case something happens, okay? I trust Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ got my back. But make this video go viral, that the government is taking choppers and going to residential homes and hovering above the prop above, above the houses of righteous people and taking samples of their grass because they want to know why their land is so healthy why do they have exotic animals on there why do they have different types of fruit growing on there at unusual sizes well my land is blessed Jesus Christ blessed it the Lord Jesus also told me that he is not going to let the government near my property. That every time grass leaves my house, it will wither and die. And I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen, my family said the first time they took a grass sample, it withered and died instantly. That's the mighty moving and the mighty moving of the hand of God. So if the government thinks that they could try to mess with God's children and God's not going to do anything about it, you got another thing coming. God said he's going to stop you at all costs. Make this video viral, ladies and gentlemen. Please, this is what it comes to. This is the last day is what we're living in. Make it go viral that they are sending out choppers to the righteous homes. They send out choppers. They just pet trespass pretty much on the property of homeowners and steal their grass. They're taking samples of their land. Okay, they're taking samples of their land, of grass on their land, all because the land is healthy and blessed by God, because the land grows exotic fruits and flowers, and the fruits that are grown are more than twice the size of normal fruits. Look at this, what I got growing here. This you're not going to see, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you in a, in a lighter view. Like those pine trees right there are not supposed to be that size. They're supposed to be at least two feet. But they're bigger than usual. 
So if the government thinks they're stopping by my house, because I know you stopped by the first two times. I know it is you. Jesus told me it was you. God said he's going to stop you. I'm warning you. He's going to stop you. You cannot think you can mess with the children of God like that. This is what it's coming to, ladies and gentlemen. The government's visited my house two times. Twice, ladies and gentlemen. Look, ladies and gentlemen, you don't see plants like that on, on homes. They're very exotic plants, ladies and gentlemen. My land is very fruitful, is very healthy by the hand of God. God said, this is a warning to the government. If you try to come to my property, and if you try to seize my property, you try to raid it, you try to take the blessings from it, he is not going to let you. He's going to stop you at all costs. So please, don't even attempt it. He's going to stop you. Jesus Christ is Lord, and he is real, and he's here. He's in the midst of this house. He's present. He's going to stop you. God is present amongst his righteous. He will stop you. He stopped you twice already. He's going to stop you again. He's going to stop you again. Make this viral, saints. Make this video go viral. It's urgent because the government is now going to the home properties, private properties of homeowners. And they're handpicking who they deem extremists, and that's Bible Bible believing Christians like you and me. Okay, that means that we're on their radar. Make this viral, please. For the, stand for the cross, stand for Jesus. Okay, Jesus got your back. Don't worry, saints. Stand for the cross. Stand for the Lord, please. I'm begging you. Stand for the Lord. Look, look at that beauty. Stand for what's right.